In this video, we will download and install SQLite database, create an SQLite database and tables, and connect to that SQLite database using Visual Studio Code. First, type download SQLite in your Google search engine, and then you will see these options. First is from sqlite.org slash download, then you can, you can also maybe see this, just sqlite.org. So click on any of these two. I'll just click on download. Now, if you are in SQLite's homepage, as I am here, so there's a download button here, priorities here. You just click on this download in the navigation bar. And once you've clicked download, as you can see, now both are same. So the URL is sqlite.org slash download. So once you are in this, what you need to do is you need to scroll down to pre-compiled binaries for Windows. As you can see here, there are three options here. 32-bit DLL, 64-bit DLL, and a bundle of command line tools for managing SQL databases and files. So this is what we will be needing. So click on this. And as you can see, the download has started. Once the download is complete, open it. And move it to your C drive. Paste it here. Okay, now you can just right click on it and extract it so where do you want to extract it we will extract it in this sqlite folder so it will be directly inside c and inside sqlite folder click on extract as you can see here it is extracted and double click there's another folder inside here so what we can do is we can select all these and we can move all these outside remove this folder since it is empty now so we just delete it now we have the required things inside our SQLite folder. Now, if we open command prompt and if we move to this SQLite folder, as you can see, now we are inside SQLite folder. If here we type SQLite 3, now we are, where did we go? Now, as you can see, we are inside the SQLite command line. Here we can type SQLite commands and make databases and stuff. So it's, an error. it's not help, it's dot help. If I do dot help, I can see a list of all the commands that SQLite can take. But we don't want to always open command line in this folder or move to this folder whenever we want to use SQLite, right? So what we need to do is we need to add SQLite to path. So what you can do is type press windows and type environment variables. And we need to add this path to environment variables. So copy this and in, click on environment variables. And in system variables, click on new, sorry, not new, click on path and click edit. And here paste the thing that we had copied and then click OK. Click OK again and click OK again. And now if I just open command prompt and type SQLite 3. As you can see, now I can open SQLite from anywhere. I don't need to go inside that folder. Now, let's try to see what databases we have. As you can see here, we don't have any database right now. Let's say we want to create a database here. So how do you create a database? It's pretty simple. What you do is first quit. Now you're outside of SQLite terminal, as you can see here. So what you need to do is type SQLite 3 and then say test.db. So now this test.db is created and we are inside SQLite and this database is selected. So what you can do is do dot tables and as you can see there is no tables. So let's see how we can create a table. So we can create create tables, create table users and let's say we just need an ID now and ID needs to be integer and we are primary key hit enter and now let's see if we have tables yes we have tables now so table users is created let's see what columns we have inside users so to do that you need to check the schema of of which table of users As you can see here, there's just one column in users. There is ID and it is integer and primary key. Let's see how we can open SQLite 3 database with Visual Studio and how we can inspect databases and tables and their schema. 
first open visual studio and go to extensions or click Control shift x now search for sqlite you will see a bunch of options here but the best one from my experience is sqlite to editor this allows you to view sqlite database just in a table format and easily edit update data so once you have opened this let's click on this install button here and after you have installed the editor now you can easily open sqlite databases now as you know sqlite databases are saved as files so wherever your sqlite database is so i have it right here with me so you can just right click on this and open with visual studio code now as you can see your sqlite database table is already open here so i have this users table here if you have multiple tables it will show you a list of tables here but right now i only have users and i have sam and bob in this so this is how you can open sqlite database in visual studio if you want to add more things you can just double click here write three and in name you want to write test user and in address you want to write washington so as you can see here the query for you is generated now you can scroll down and click on commit and the third user is added so this is how you can add and if you want to edit you can just click on double click on sam and write sam sammy and click commit so now sam has become sammy so this is the best one in my opinion and this is how you can open sqlite databases and edit or add data into the database if you have any questions let me know in the comments below